Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Jimmy with Tropicana Golf. I'm in the middle of my round, and some light bulb just went off in my head, and I really want to share it with you. We are consuming so many tips and so much instruction through YouTube and Instagram and Facebook, and it all just kind of piles up in your head. And tips are great. Don't get me wrong. Tips can really help you. But if you have a lot of tips and you don't know how to play with it, it's like, it's like taking ingredients to the Thanksgiving meal. If I told you on YouTube how to make a Thanksgiving meal and it was turkey, pig, pumpkin, cranberry, bread, good luck. Well, yeah, those are the ingredients, but how do you put it all together? And your brain gets all these tips, ingredients, and doesn't know how to like compartmentalize them and use them effectively. And really, it's just a lot to consume. So what I like to do is I like to break it down into playing because playing is the recipe, not just the ingredients, which are the tips. So I'm going to take you along. I'm going to play a couple holes, a par four, a par three. And I'm going to show you what's really working for me right now, mid round, so that you can see, okay, this actually works. Okay, this is actually how you make the meal using these ingredients. So let's go. This is a par four. We have abbreviated tee boxes because they're doing uh, maintenance over seating. So just bear with it. This is not for score. This doesn't matter. All we're doing today is I'm going to show you a couple things that have been really working for me in the last two hours. Okay. There's the hole way out there. You see the flag. I'm going to tee up right here. I'm going to show you what I see and what I've been doing and how big of a difference it is. So a lot of us take the club back and immediately roll our hands, roll them. So from this way, it looks like this. The club face is looking dead up at the sky. And from here, the only thing you can do if you turn back is hit it with an open club face. It's gonna slice across the ball. To me, the way that I've improved is by shutting the face or keeping it square immediately. So no more rolling. It's just a straight back movement. I almost feel that my hands go into like a pocket. And in a pocket, you can't roll them because there's not enough room. So I feel like I put my hands in the pocket and I just move them back and forth like this. In fact, I don't even move them back and forth. I use my body to move them back and forth. Right now, my arms are not moving. They're only moving because my hips are moving. So that's the biggest thing. If you roll right away, man, that's death. So take it back to right here. If you can make sure that your club face looks just like this, here we go this way, just like this. It kind of matches my spine angle. If you can get to right here, you've done your job. And from here, leave them there, turn back and hit the ball. One more time from here. Turn back so that it matches, turn, and turn back forward. This will keep the face square so that you can hit the ball square. Now, if you open it up, you can play like this. Opening and closing, opening and closing, but that's just a lot of timing. So, take it back square, turn. My knuckles are almost facing the ground, and from here, I just leave them there. I don't do anything else. I just turn my body back forward. So it's back and through. Now, in the previous video, I told you about that girl that I watched that had just perfect tempo. You still gotta play into that. That is big. And I've always said in my videos, I feel like I'm waving to the camera. Well, that's what that is. My knuckles are down, this hand is up. If your hand is this way, you can't wave this way. So you wanna feel that which causes the face to go down. You will hit straighter shots like this. I just turn back and turn forward. My hands are in a pocket. Ready? Okay. It's up along the right side. It'll funnel back to the fairway. It's a straight shot. It might look right on camera, but it's not. 
it's just maybe three feet off the fairway. And to me, it takes a lot of guessing out of it. I don't know if I have to, if I roll my hands, did I roll them back in time? Is the fair, is the uh, club face closed? Like it's a whole thing. So if I just leave them closed, I don't have to think about it. I just turn my body back, turn my body forward, leave my hands in the pocket. That allows me to wave to the camera and hit the ball with a closed-ish club face. Now this ball went right-ish. So what that tells me is that even though I feel like it's closed, it's not closed enough. So to you, it's gonna feel really closed, especially if you roll them. It's not, it's not, it's not closed. It just feels different. So you can even exaggerate it a little bit. So here's my ball. It's two feet, three feet off the fairway. You can see it right there. It's in the mud. I'm 125 yards out. There's 150 and 100's up there. So I'm 125. I'm gonna move it out of that mud because that's not uh, playable. I mean, it is, but I'll keep it in the rough for sure. Let's give myself a not great lie because, so there's the fairway, right? You can see it here, cut there, and there's my ball. So let's move it like, you know, there. Okay, that wasn't a great lie, but I didn't hit it on the fairway, so I shouldn't get great relief. Let's move this back a little bit so you can see it. All right, come on. I need a camera guy. All right, there we go. So the pin is way over there. All right, so now I know I got to kind of draw one a little bit. So same thing. I take it back, keep my hands in the pocket, and swing. Comes out of there, rolls up, pin high. All I knew was it was rough. It was gonna come out funny. I took the guessing out of it and just kept the club face closed. I hit it low. It was a weird lie, but I know that if I have a closed face, well, hey, it's gonna come out square. So I just picked the club, I hit a 50 degree, it's 120 yards. I know that that's a relatively good number for that club. If I miss hit it a little bit, there's the ball there. So now I have a putt. So let's see what I can do. It's a downhill putt, no big deal. Now putting is the same thing. You wanna make sure that club face stays square, AKA closed. You don't want any kind of opening at all with a putter. You want to limit everything because it's so sensitive that, you know, any little movement will cause a big discrepancy in where the ball goes. So I know this is going to go straight down the hill. Putter face just stays very, very straight. This is straight downhill. It's going to be fast. It's going to break right. What I like to do, and people laugh at me, is I get down here and I can really feel the face. I get right here and I just tap it. Okay, but guess what? That's a tap in par. Boom. Easy. It's an easy way to do it. And all I've been thinking about is keeping the club face closed. I didn't do anything wild or crazy. I just kept the face closed. That allowed me to really keep it square. So we're going to take a quick break. Then we're going to get back to the ninth tee and you're going to see it live. Okay, we're back here on the ninth tee. As you can see behind me, the San Gabriel Valley Mountains. This is an elevated tee box above the rest of the course, but yet the green is even more elevated than here. I'll show you that as soon as we turn around. I just really want to emphasize this one procedure that we're going through today, and that is the non-rolling of the hands on the takeaway. It is so important, and it'll help you so much instantly. 
you want to feel those hands go in the pocket. And from here, they just turn back, little lateral push towards the target and sweep the ground. Let's look at it from here. The hands go back, little lateral push and sweep the ground. This is about 150, remember these are abbreviated tee boxes today. You can see the hole up there. You see the two big palm trees, then you see a little palm tree. Well, I, I guess you could see the, the little tree. The pin is right in front of that little tree. So it's 150-ish uphill. I'm gonna hit an eight iron because I don't wanna have to stretch a nine. Um, so I wanna feel that hand in the pocket, turn back, and go. Here we go. Little lateral push. Ball goes up. That should be middle of the green or so. I mean, I can't see it, but I think it's good. And all I really thought was hands stay in the pocket, hands stay in the pocket. No rolling of the face, hands stay in the pocket, little bump forward, and brush the ground on the way down. Let's go see what that looks like. I didn't really hit it very hard. I'm not looking to hit perfect shots, and golf is not a perfect game. In fact, I was hoping that it would be not on the green <laughs> so that I could show you a alternative to playing this kind of game but I think this swing thought really promotes a straight ball and I'm not going to say it's hard to hit bad shots because I hit bad shots all the time but when I break it down on camera and I go through it I really play a lot better than maybe not a lot better but I play a lot smarter than I do when there is no camera and I think I these videos really help me also because I'm talking myself through the sequence. And it's something that you got to do. And I'm going to start doing it in my rounds where I just pretend that you guys are here watching. So here's the green. There's my ball center of the green. Um, you know, there's the tee box down there. There's not much to show you here except for maybe had a lag one close to make sure. Now here, here, here's the deal. How many times are you gonna make that putt? One out of 40, 30, 45, something like that. So I like to play it a little bit more conservative. I want a par, okay? That's, that's, that's what I play for. And I think that, that will help your game also if you just say, I'm gonna take a par. So I just study the general putt. I know it's gonna go that way. I know it's uphill. So all I'm gonna do is aim over there and let it funnel. The main thing is getting the speed. I don't wanna blow one by or leave it super short. I just want it three foot ring around the hole. And I just make the hole bigger in my mind. And I'm like, okay, well, if the hole was huge, how would I have to hit it to get it there? Well, if I was gonna throw it there, I would just do that. Keep my head down, just throw it into a three foot circle. I feel like anybody could do that. There's the three foot circle. I got a little tap in for par. I didn't overwork my brain. I know the hole was short, whatever. But here's the thing for today. No rolling, do not roll, do not roll. Keep that club face down and turn through. I hope this helps.